Okay, everybody. So this is the actual website for the credit card. Now, look here. They said that you don't need your social security no number. It's not required, but you can be able to you you can be able to build your credit history in the United States. So that's one good thing. I told you guys this is mainly for people that don't really have a social, but it's marked as a secure credit card and secure credit cards will help build our credit as long as they're reported to all three credit bureaus, which is the reason why I want to show you guys this card. But like I said, hey, Harry, let's look at some of the features that they have too. So let's actually go to their credit card at the top. So this is the part where I was telling you guys about the $25 to build your credit score. $25 when you build your credit score over 700 points within 12 months of use. So it's got to be within the 12 months, but they're going to give you $25. I'm not sure how they're going to look at your credit, how they're going to monitor to that, but that sounds good for those people that actually build that credit. Now, this is the part that I like, the 2% cash back on purchases. So you will get 2% back on Amazon, Netflix, Spotify, Hulu, Uber, Uber Eats, and Whole Foods. So that is really good, especially since I love Whole Foods, and you guys know I love the Amazon. So you guys will also get 1% cash back on all other purchases. Remember I told you guys that you will have the car rental insurance? This is what I was referring to right here, the MasterCard car rental insurance. You, have, you guys will also have the cell phone protection and that include crack screens, but look deep into it because you ever say, you ever heard of a company say, oh, you have this coverage, that coverage, and then when it comes down to it, you don't have that coverage or, or it's different or it's special things with it, check into that to make sure that you're going to get, get the actual coverage that you need. Now, they said that you're not going to have any annual fees, which is actually good, no annual fees because I know there's a few other secure credit cards. They will possibly give you an annual fee. So that's good that you will have no annual fees and no foreign transaction fees. And your APR will be prime plus 6.99%. So whatever the prime rate is, plus 6.99% APR. That's what your APR will be. And I also seen too, when I was in the app, they told me I could connect these different um, things within the app. Well, at least I've seen the Google Pay, but, you know, I guess, you know, you can attach the other one. So they say you can add money to your account, but let's see if I can see. How you can add money to it. No, I don't say exactly how you can add money to it, but they say add money to your account, spend your money on your account and you'll build credit. But don't forget to, if you have, you know, if you're spending too much money on your credit card, you're going to lower your credit. The only way a credit card can actually raise your credit score is if you have the correct utilization. If you do not, it's not going to raise your credit score. So keep that in mind. Do not spend more than 5% on your credit card. If you do spend more than 30% guarantee, it's going to drop your credit score. You know, 30%. But I always tell people, don't spend more than 5% because it's like the sweet spot to have the highest credit score that you can have. So the basic features of this is you'll have zero, a zero annual fees. You're going to build your credit history, possibly, because like I said, too, I'm not sure if they're going to actually report to all three credit bureaus. They may only um, end up reporting to two, and they need about 90 days to start even reporting in the first place. Um, no foreign transaction fees, and then two, you have their interest rate at prime plus 6.99 APR. You'll also have 2% cash back. You'll have cell phone protection, um, zero liability on purchases. Now, there's zero liability on purchases. This is the part, you know what, I read a little bit extra about the zero liability on purchases, the stable uh, set of, uh, satisfaction. <laughs> can't even say it, satisfaction. Oh my gosh. Um, Sable satisfaction guarantee, and then to uh, also the Sable extended warranty. I cannot look and try to make a video and read. I don't know. It's awkward. I read at the same time. But listen to this. When it comes down to the zero liability on purchases, you basically have that with any bank that you're, you're with. If they are... Um, the FDIC, if they FDIC approve, so say if they have that insurance on there. Now, say like if you have a regular bank account with like a credit union or just a regular bank, if you guys have purchases on your bank statements that you guys did not authorize, all you have to do is call them and let them know that you do not authorize it, and then they'll do an investigation on that transaction. And then too, if you did not authorize it, you should get your money back for that transaction. 
So when you guys see that, know that most cars should give you that, but that's still like a bonus that they want to throw out there. Now, they said something on here what, about the satisfaction guarantee. They said something on here about if you do not like the product and you want to return it and they will not take it. Say you um, within 60 days, you try to return a product and they will not take it. They will go ahead and give you your money back and i was just like wow that's awkward i never heard of anything like that i wouldn't say awkward but that is really cool i haven't heard of anything like that so definitely look more into that and then too with the stable extended warranty they said that with the extended warranty on certain items too look up the items but they'll double the warranty like that is so amazing i would literally put money on this card just to get double the warranty on things i buy such as like a washer dryer you know, things like that. I would do that to get double the warranty of TV because I know I got the Walmart protection. So for sure, that would be necessary. And then purchase assurance and price protection. The price protection, they said it's kind of like a flight. Like they said that if you were to buy something and see that it's now lower, they'll go ahead and refund you the difference. So that is another good thing. But like I said, too, let's see. You got to actually see if it's going to actually work. You get in that situation and see if they actually back it. See if they drop the price on it. See if they actually give you a refund on something that you bought and it was 60 days. You don't want it anymore. And travel emergency. But this is, I seen a complaint for this. So it only ha it, you have to make sure that it's outside the country. So if it's inside the country, I would not suggest, you know, you bank on it getting this protection but the mastercard the mastercard car rental insurance you guys will have to look into that deeper and then to if the travel assistance that is mainly for people that's outside the country or outside the country that they're naturally in so yeah you guys that's like most of the details with this account but when you want to open an account all you have to do is click right here on open an account and after you do that, they're going to want you to click right here on get started. They're going to want you to put your name, your email address in, and then create a password. As soon as you do that, they're going to send you an email. They want you to go check your email to verify your account. After you verify your account, what they're going to do is they're going to actually have you go back to a screen where they're going to have you put your phone number in. You're going to put your phone number in. After you put your phone number in, they're going to send you a text message with the app because they want you to download the app. After you download the app, they want you to log in with the same information that you're putting right here with the email address and your password. They want you to log into your account. So when you get in the app, log into your account, and then that's when you're going to do the application. And like I told you guys, let me look at my notes again. They're going to want to need, they're going to need your name, your date of birth, your phone number, your address, and your social security number. Now, like I said too, they told me I have to wait two to day two um two to 10 days, well, two days for them to verify me and that it was going to take two to 10 days for my card to come in the mail. But that's all they'll need. And then after you do that, then you'll have access to your account You to put money in your account. Like I said, they had on here that you could do a wire transfer, you could do an ACH. But make sure you guys apply for this account you know, with caution, make sure you guys look deeper into this account. Make sure this is something that you really want to get. But if you guys have any questions, you have more details, definitely let me know. And also, you guys, make sure you sign up for my exclusive membership where you guys will get help with your credit. I'll be able to help you guys with your credit, figure out what you have to do to build your credit score up. And also, too, if you need letters, you guys will get access to the letters. You guys will get a list of over 100 credit cards you guys can apply for to help build your credit also. But I'll see you guys in my exclusive membership. Bye-bye.